Hi everybody, this is Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. The subject or theme for this reading is going to be what is happening with this connection right now? So a connection that you're wondering about um, behind the scenes kind of what is going on with this connection. That's where we're gonna find out right now. Um, I do wanna do a little shout out to all my subscribers right now. And thank you guys so much for helping me to reach 4,000 subscribers. Um, as promised, I am going to do a live pick a card reading um, with free card pulls at the end. And um, stay tuned because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to do that tomorrow. I wasn't able to do that today, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it tomorrow. Um, and I'll schedule it um, a few hours before I go live so that you'll be able to get your notification to know when it's going to be. Um, so the cards that we're using today are one card from the Messenger Oracle, one card from the Romance Angel Oracle, and three cards from the Gilded Deck. Um, the icons that you have to choose from are the first um, kitty cat here and it says treats now. The second kitty cat and it says awesome sauce and this third kitty cat that doesn't really have anything to say he's just cute so um, I'm gonna be quiet for a second and let you guys pick if you need more time then um, you know just pause the video also I've decided I'm gonna do a yes no coin flip um, for each pile so if you don't like that um, then I'll give you a warning just to click off um, but I know a lot of people do like that so I'm gonna incorporate that into this reading as well okay so if you pick the first kitty cat that says treats now Let's see what's going on kind of behind the scenes with this connection. The first card that you got is the Queen of Swords. The second card that you got is the Six of Pentacles. And the third card that you got here is the Eight of Wands. The Oracle cards that you got is Past Life Relationship. You have known each other before. And the other oracle card that you got is challenge your perception. Okay. So in this connection, um, I think there's fast moving energy. So I think um, behind the scenes, maybe not, um, you know, where you can see, but I think there is movement that's happening. I think there's progress that's happening. Maybe you're not aware of it, but um, I think there's, there's going to be some signs coming in for you. There could be some communication coming in very soon for you um, as far as this connection. So um, it's taking off and it could be flights. It's some of you taking a flight or the person you're asking about um, is ready to, you know, take some sort of journey um, to see you. Okay, and then you've got the Six of Pentacles. So as far as the masculine, um, the masculine, I think that he's very stable when it comes to his finances. I think that um, he's been working and it's starting to pay off for him. And he's being really wise with his finances. Um, you know, he's not recklessly spending his money. Um, he's actually saving his money, but yet he's still being generous. So. He could be donating to those um, this time of year. If you're watching this um, when I put it out, you know, donating to those less fortunate Toys for Tots or, you know, other organizations um, that really are less fortunate. So I think he's being wise with his money. Um, if you're asking about the masculine and um, he's really being generous. Okay, if you're the Queen of Wands, or if you're asking about the Queen of Wands, I think that um, still very guarded. I think uh, still very defensive. Um, 
being very logical, being very wise, but also, um, you know, having a hard time opening up, having a hard time being vulnerable. And the reason is because of her past, okay? Maybe um, she's been burned too many times. And because of that, you know, she's she's learned to guard herself or maybe she's protecting people. Maybe she's protecting um, if she has children, you know, she's she's protective. So when you approach her, she is going to be guarded. Um, she is going to take a bit to open up. So um, it could be that the masculine is thinking about um, you know, giving something to the feminine to help her to trust him. So that's what I'm getting there. Um, with the Romance Angel card, um, you have known this person before. So if you wondered about that, if you wondered why you felt this way for this person, why you're watching all of these readings to do with this person, it's because you have this soul tie to this person. Um, you have spent a previous life together, maybe more than one previous life together. Um, and I feel like you have been lovers. Um, you could have been married in a past life. And now when you're in this life, you're kind of still feeling that connection. Like uh, you still feel that bond with that person. So as much as you try to kind of pull away from that person, you still have that soul tie to that person. And um, maybe that's going to be communicated. Maybe that's going to be told is that I feel this, you know, this strong bond towards you. And I'm really not sure why. Challenge your perceptive card number five. So um, hold on. Let me um, let me get the book for this card because I don't really remember this card that much. Um, let's see. I'm going to read it to you. Challenge your perception. You cannot challenge an outdated perception or one born from a lack of understanding if you are unwilling to put aside your feelings and beliefs and embrace another's point of view. To do so makes you aware of the whole and stands you up on a high where you can see that both parties involved in dispute, a dispute can act against an unjust. Both can be right, both can be wrong, and what one may perceive as harmful can be seen as both healing and beneficial by the other. Okay, so I feel like one of you has had some sort of injustice um, against them, and I feel like uh, someone has wronged you, or maybe someone has wronged your person, and they're having a hard time with that right now and that's what they're going through behind the scenes um the reason this is happening to this person is so that they can really see um that when things happen to you that seem to be harmful um they're really nothing to worry about you know um Maybe they need to step back. Maybe they need to look at the other person's point of view. Um, and it would help. It would help things to be resolved. So it kind of a weird message there. But that's what I'm feeling um, with this connection. So, and it could be something to do with money. Um, that could be the issue here. So let's do a yes, no for you. If you don't want to do that, then you can click off right now. Um, but that's what I'm doing. So ask your question. Okay, so the answer is yes. Whatever you ask, the answer is yes. So um, don't forget to check out my Etsy page. I have readings over there that are available. Um, and I have one question readings and they're only $5. So go check it out. Okay, if you pick the second reading, awesome sauce. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes in this connection. Let's kind of spy and see what's going on. Okay, you've got the Three of Cups. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the Hermit card. You've got Love Yourself First. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you've got Let the Emotions Flow. 
Okay, so I feel two different energies here. I feel like one person is actually um, having a good time. I think one person is, it could be you or it could be the other person. You're enjoying yourself, you know, maybe you're going out with friends, maybe you're having a few drinks. Um, you're celebrating, you know, it's that time of year people celebrate and I think you're celebrating and having good times could be with family or friends. Um, maybe you're reuniting with some people that you haven't seen in a while and they're making you laugh, they're making you smile, or maybe you're meeting, meeting new people and they're kind of, you know, you're noticing them, they're noticing you. Maybe you're having a drink with someone and you're having a good time. So um, I feel like that's one energy. It could be you or the other person, but you'll know which. And then we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like either you or the other person, you have new opportunities coming in for you. The universe is kind of um, gifting you something. And I feel like it's some sort of new opportunity. And it has something to do with finances. So it could be that um, you've had this new path that you're going on. Or your person has this new path that they're going on. And it's going to reward them financially. It's going to help them to be more stable and more dependable and um it's it's helping them to have a solid foundation which in the long run will help this connection and then we've got the hermit card which is kind of funny because one person i feel is really enjoying themselves you know with friends and then the other person i feel like is in solitude is kind of um not going out is spending time alone and really soul searching and trying to figure out you know why am i here what is my soul's purpose and um really trying to you know get in touch with your your purpose in life so i feel like one person is lonely is you know not doing much um just staying at home and um still you know it, it it's not a negative card um it is a positive card but it can be kind of a lonely card as well and with the let emotions flow, so it could be this person that is the hermit um, is really having some tough times um, emotionally. I feel like this person, um, they are crying. You know, you can see in this card that this person looks like they've, they've been shedding some tears. But notice how that third eye is open. The other two are closed, but the third eye is open. So I feel like this same person that is spending time alone is also becoming very enlightened. So they could be crying, but really cl crying can be a healing thing for you. It can help you to release the negative emotions so that you can be more in a positive place. So I do feel like um, one person is very spiritual, but also in a little bit of pain. And then I feel like um, it could be both of you. It could be both of you are trying to work on loving yourself more. Um, maybe you're learning to see that you know you are different but you're still an individual god created you the way you are because that's the way you're supposed to be so you're working on loving yourself the way you are um you know whether it's your weight whether it's you know um you know your race um whether it's your height you know it's learning to love every little aspect of you um, and knowing that you are unique and that you were created to be the person that you are. So it could be that both of you guys behind the scenes are kind of working on that. But I do feel like one person is is alone and then the other person is more of a social person. Um, so that's all I have for you, number two. Let's do a yes, no for you. So if you don't want to do that, then you can click off right now. Okay, so you got yes. So whatever you ask, the answer is yes. So that's all I have for you. If you would like to check out my Etsy, um, I have readings over there for $5. Um, also, my Patreon, it's $5 to subscribe to my Patreon. And you get access to 20 plus videos. So check it out. 
Okay, and last but not least, if you pick this kitty that really doesn't have anything to say. So maybe that's what's going on behind the scenes. There's really not any talking going on. You've got the Ace of Cups, wonderful. You've got the Page of Pentacles. You've got the Six of Cups, okay. You've got the Trust card. And you've got Heed the Messenger, love it. Okay, so in this connection, I really do feel like this is someone from the past. And I think they've really been thinking about you. I think they've been reminiscing about these good times that you've had. It could be someone from childhood, or it could be someone from, you know, last year or three years ago that you met. Um, but really, they're thinking about the good times that you had and wanting to get back to that place. With this little cat here kind of peeking over the grass, I think they're curious as to what you're up to. So maybe they're kind of spying on you on social media. Maybe they're not saying anything, but I feel like they're still watching you to see kind of what you're up to. They're curious about you and um, they really do want to get back to you. They want to come back into your life. With the Page of Pentacles, I feel like this is the masculine. Um, I feel like he is really working on his finances. That is what he's focused on right now. Um, it could be his job. It could be also it could be his academics. You know, maybe he's learning a new skill or maybe he's um, studying something. Um, with this peacock here, I kind of feel the spying vibes again um because it kind of looks like eyes so i feel like definitely this person they're watching you and they're also working on their finances so it they could be silent right now but know that they're busy they're busy working on you know having um finances being stable and being dependable um with the page energy they could be a little bit immature maybe they don't really know quite what to do or what to say um but they do want this new connection with you with the ace of cups they've been thinking about this new beginning with you i mean they're reminiscing about the past all the good times you had and they want this love with you they want this um you know, these emotions to come back because I feel like those emotions that they had for you, they made them feel so happy and they made them, you know, feel this pleasure when they were with you. And that's why they want this new beginning with you. So it could be behind the scenes. Maybe you don't know about that. And then you've got trust. So I feel like definitely this person, um, they're trying to trust in this connection. Um, they really do want to work on this connection. I mean, they, they want this new beginning with you, but maybe you guys have trust issues. Maybe in the past um, you were cheated on. Maybe they cheated on you. Maybe you cheated on them. Maybe you guys both cheated on each other. And I feel like um, you guys both have to kind of mature and grow up and maybe you have done that maybe that's what you guys have been doing while you guys you know haven't been together and I feel like if you guys do come back together in the future you guys are gonna learn to trust each other you're gonna learn that you know if you want to be together you're gonna have to um trust and that's the only way that you can be with someone is if you trust them if you don't trust them then it's going to be arguments it's going to be fights it's going to be paranoia and I feel like if if they do come back to you um, you guys are going to have trust again and then the final card that you got is heed the messenger card number 16 so I feel like mostly the feminine I think the feminine is really in touch with her spirit guides and also her spirit animals the way that she's got this little bird on her shoulder this is really telling you to pay attention to the signs okay maybe you're seeing angel numbers maybe you're seeing 444 maybe you're seeing 12 12 maybe you're seeing 11 11 maybe you're seeing animals maybe um you see a little bird or maybe you see um 
you know, different animals. And they're trying to give you signs. This is your spirit guides trying to give you signs to let you know that they're there and they're they're supporting you and they're leading you on your path and they're not going to let you stray and whatever you do um they're there for you so they just want you to know that and uh, listen to them look for them look for these messages because they really want you to see them they want you to heed these messages it could be as simple as seeing like you know, you're in the grocery store and you you look over and you see a greeting card and it says something like, thank you. These are your spirit guides really reaching out to you. They want you to see that they are with you and, and that they are there. It was funny, just the other day, I was looking for a recipe. I didn't really know where it was and I stopped looking for it. And then all of a sudden, I was looking for something else and that same exact recipe that I was looking for just came out of nowhere. I pulled it out of a book and a book that I wasn't even really looking for. And that's just, you know, that's one of these synchronicities that it's not a coincidence. It's just something that they're trying to show you. They want you to know that they're there and they're giving you these signs. So beautiful message, but I feel like your person too is also seeing these signs and maybe they're not as enlightened as you, but they're starting to be and they're starting to see these signs and uh, I feel like you guys are going to be coming back together. So let's do this yes, no coin flip for you. If you would not like to p participate, click off right now and uh, don't forget to check out my Etsy page. Thank you so much. Okay, so you got yes. So whatever you ask, the answer is yes. And just know that your spirits are there supporting you. I really feel it strongly. And especially this time of year, um, they're with us and they're happy. You know, they, they love to celebrate as well. So thank you guys so much. And if you would like something more from me, um, you can check out my Etsy page. I have readings over there. I have jewelry over there. I have tarot bags over there. Um, also, I have my Patreon page where... If you um, support it and pledge $5 a month, you get access to exclusive videos. And over there, I don't have the restrictions and I can use the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And I know a lot of you out there, you like those pictures. You like those naughty pictures. So go ahead and pledge that $5 a month and you can have access to those videos um, as well. So thank you guys so much. Love and light to you and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.